So, this is the year. It's 2023. 20, and in the future, it is the far future. The far future. And on the path there, we have a few pinpoint moments um, that get thrown around. Um, some of the ones we talked about today is 2030. Um, we have the rest of this decade. We have 2050 that's thrown around. Um, I am working on, yeah, my, my business, my business model, creating more positive impact media. Um, being in frame. <laughs> uh, and showcasing the awesome things people are doing to make positive change. Um, safeandhealthyco.org is where you can go to sign the pledge if you're living here in Colorado. Um, nationally, um, you can reach out to your legislator, tell them that you don't support further um, fossil fuel infrastructure um, against pipelines. Um, and I would say look for different community organizations um, in your state. Uh, there are a number of different ways to plug in, um, ways to start chipping away at a, a better climate future. We didn't get too much into what a fair transition could look like. Um, we do have 10 minutes left. Uh, so this is the year. It's 2023. 20, and in the future, it is the far future. The far future. And on the path there, we have a few pinpoint moments um, that get thrown around. Um, some of the ones we talked about today is 2030. Um, we have the rest of this decade. We have 2050 that's thrown around. Um, and then we have the far future. Um, and the context of this all is we have, um, we have our planet. That's a great circle. Let's just fill that in. Um, mm -hmm. Can I make this bigger? Brush. Mm -hmm. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful art. And then on that, we have this is our planet. This part's not important to talk about the transition. We don't need to be drawing this much, but we are. Beautiful. Can I select this? No, it's just there. Perfect. Um, and from here, what our planet looks like in the future is based about what we do. Um, our future in our future climate is up to us, is up to us. So we are here. Um, and um, what do we value? Do we value? I would say um, clean, livable climate, climate, ecosystems, uh, flourishing nature, uh, water, air, flourishing and clean, clean nature, water, air, um, that uh, no one, no one is excluded from these, these values, um, that we act to center 
uh, marginalized uh, communities um, and act uh, proactively. These are things I think we value. Um, and so a fair transition, so there's ways to transition. Uh, there are ways to transition. Um, you can wait till it's really bad. Don't advise this. Uh, uh, I don't advise this. Longer we wait, more expensive it costs in multiple ways. The other ways we can transition is, um, is there a middle one between this and a fair transition? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Probably like, Slow, a slow paced transition. Um, through divided system. Uh, if stakeholders are do not come together, do not come together. Change will be slow. Um, so you're not coming together. Change will be slow. And um, changes will be slow. And certain people, certain people will get left behind. The best message, the meth, best method I can think of to transition though, um, is a fair a fair and quick transition um sometimes people say like just transition as in like a justice based one um and this transition looks like uh bringing workers, workers, citizens, and scientists together, prioritizing what people need and creating jobs to begin phasing out fossil fuels and creating jobs to begin phasing out reliance on, on fossil fuels quicker and helping lead on a better climate and safe future. And so we're at this, uh, let me get that in frame. Become smaller. Nope. Become wider. There you go. Um, and so this is kind of the, the conundrum when it comes to ending the era of fossil fuels. Um, what do we value? How do we want to transition? And who are the people and leaders who can help institutionalize 
um, and fight for some of these changes at the government level. There are things businesses and innovators can do um, outside of government. And um, that is awesome. However, I, it's, we got to like look inward on what kind of country, what do we want to support? How do we want to show up? Um, and what kind of future do we want to leave our future generations? Some plans have us waiting till 2050. Excel likes to talk about how, um, this 2050 goal and I just often think it's just not quick enough. Um, there's some things to be said about the last mile on farms in winter storms. Might they need to turn on a fuel po power source to get through a winter storm? Circumstances like that might take us a long time to 100% transition away from. In the meantime, though, there's a lot we can do. We can be doing more with electric vehicles. We can be moving subsidies to those fields and energy structure. We could be updating our grid, putting down at the same time fiber internet. We can be green, bringing green, um, planting trees, regenerative farms. We can be building solar on-farm infrastructure, bringing energy production um, to wider areas. And we can be changing the, the, the narrative of what is possible. This is kind of, I think, our generation's moonshot. How do we change people's minds and get them on board to believe in this greener, um, more regenerative, more fair vision. And I understand that it's hard right now. Um, there's a lot of economic struggles that is, that is tied in. Part of that, the system is built that way. It's harder to be engaged when you are living in stress. Um, and when you're living through trauma and climate disasters, and this system that doesn't even guarantee healthcare. I understand that. And I think at the same time, we can come together, build each other up, and lift up leaders into positions that can work on the, this issue as well as many others. And so our future climate is up to us. Um, let us lead. Um, because Colorado is awesome and I think, um, colors are awesome and, um, people want things to change and improve. I have a little bit, got to fix that. Um, and one of the ways you can do this is getting involved with a climate organization like 350 Colorado. Um, there are many others. Uh, and this safe and healthy, healthy co.org um, is where you can sign a pledge and learn about other organizations. Um, and uh take action learn how you can take action learn how you can help learn about um this issue thanks uh everyone who dropped in live uh who is still but thank you all for being here i'm tuning out um i will chop this up into little clips later have a great week everyone I uh, follow me at Community Driven Group on Instagram. Uh, you here on YouTube, I'm at Community Driven. 
looking to put together a more consistent schedule of streams and what else I can do in the positive impact media space. This was a fun exercise in getting to see some of the events put together by others, celebrate and look at this issue. And yeah, a lot of my attention's here because of what it means for like this amazingly beautiful planet and protecting it. So, Cheers to an ongoing push to do that and all the amazing people bring positivity into the world in their own ways um, from big to small. So have a good rest of June. Happy Pride. Um, take care and see you around.